Hello guys, today we're gonna talk about this a little bit. Um, yeah, so let me start. I've already mentioned manifestation and how it can help you with not only ED recovery, but also a lot of other things, to be honest. So whatever you want, you can manifest. Not really, like you have to stay realistic, kind of. Other people would now say no. Manifestation is not about being realistic, it's about blah blah blah, be there, dreaming big, blah blah blah. But yeah, back then it actually did not seem realistic what I was striving for, and I'm gonna show you because I bought this um, on my holidays to Venice with my mom. I spent so much money on this book, but it's actually beautiful, um, and I've only used it until maybe here. And I'm gonna read you a little bit out of it. So I bought it when I was at a good stage with my recovery, but still I was struggling a bit with my um, body image. I was really well off with my eating habits. I didn't feel the need to exercise, but I had a lot of self-destructive thoughts. So for that, it was great. And I also had a lot of struggles with kind of like feeling like I deserve love, feeling like I am beautiful, etc. So this is a very generic page. So I did sometimes really generic things. Like here I said, I don't chase, I attract, which is the, I think it's the most basic manifestation you can say, but it really is nice. So when you run after something, for example, after the perfect body, it just, no. In the end, you attract it. That means you are confident that whatever you deserve will come to you. Um, and I had also to switch kind of this mindset. And you can see it like, at some point, you just got to accept that whatever you receive is what is right for you. So at some point, I just had to accept that my body, my perfect body was not what I thought it was. It was actually just what was meant for me, what was made based on kind of my genetics, my environment, my stress levels, everything. This was what what is meant for me. This is my dream body. And this I don't chase because I cannot say what exactly it is. I just attract this feeling of feeling confident, feeling beautiful, <laughs> feeling healthy and happy. So yeah. Just a little, yeah. Um, then something, I'm just, honestly, I haven't seen this in a long time, so I'm very surprised myself. Here it was about um, things being cringe or awkward, and actually I shouldn't give a fuck. <laughs> so this is a whole page, just me saying, actually nothing is cringe or awkward, it's just, I don't care. And this is something that also helped me in my recovery, and I think... I actually need to go back into this because I do sometimes still overthink it has gotten a lot better through recovery just because you learn that you cannot give a fuck about anything. Otherwise, yeah, it's just gonna be very hard. Um, same with this, I'm unaffected by the judgment of others. Um, I have everything I need to be happy. Um, then I trust kind of the right timing or the timing that will happen. Here I phrase this as in the di divine timing or I trust the universe and it's planned for me. It's just that you, for example, you cannot say, okay, in June it's going to be four months of recovery and then like that means in September I'm going to start losing overshoot weight. That's not how it works. You just need to let go and trust that it will come however you want. Um, and I'm really not trying to force you any spiritual beliefs because I myself, I don't really believe in it. It's just kind of a tool for you. For me, at the time, I needed something that I could believe in and that kind of took all the weight off my shoulders. But now... I think now I'm so confident in my life and in myself that I don't need it anymore. But back then it was really helpful to me. Then um, 
there's other things like I wrote my body is blessed it's beautiful strong healthy full of energy um, kind of like my energy is amazing I'm loved I'm in a wonderful relationships uh, relationships with someone that makes me feel happy and also feel like sexy or good looking um, and all of those things they were way before I even started dating my boyfriend now so good manifestation <laughs> It's just things that you really want to have in life. You need to write it down to know that this is what you strive for. And then you can work towards it, consciously and subconsciously. So yeah, those were some of the things that I wrote down. I think here was a lot about love. <laughs> uh, also things like, something wonderful is about to happen to me. I choose to believe um, only the best about me <laughs> um, or yeah then <laughs> oh my god it's so funny like the things I'm reading now what here I had a whole page about career I'm gonna read it later in private because that doesn't matter to you but yeah then like even I had some like whole pages described of my perfect day this is all really helpful because you know what you're working towards and so for example instead of for example now you look in the mirror and you're just a little stressed by the way you're looking and blah 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 or when you're putting on something and in your perfect daily description you look in the mirror you feel confident excited for the day then you put on your pants that are the perfect size and just fit well, and blah, blah, blah. It's not about being looking in the mirror and f seeing a skinny you and then putting on your XS jeans. It's really about like feeling comfortable, putting on the right size, meaning that you have clothes that fit your body, not your skinny body, but just your body. And yeah, all of those things. Of course, you can also draw and stuff. Um, then what I also always do is kind of my goals, um, like write down my specific goals. Then sometimes I even have like, here is 20, 35, kind of my perfect day or whatever. Here was very focused on <laughs> kind of my career. Then I even wrote down some keywords like creative, calm, mindful, fit, loved, loving, purposeful, giving, healthy, intelligent, sustainable. <laughs> Just some values that I find important and things like that. So that's something that I would recommend to you because it helps you figure out where you want to go, what you want to be like. And you realize it's not about being skinny. It's about feeling good in your body. And if you don't realize it yet, just fake it, <laughs> write down that this is what you want, like body neutrality, feeling happy about yourself, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, that was just maybe some inspiration for you to keep going. I have a thousand notebooks where I write things down. So yeah, it's my way of putting all my thoughts and <laughs> I don't do it as often anymore, sadly, which is re really bad. I should do it more often. Um, but yeah, this is kind of a goal after my master's to be more creative, do more writing and stuff like that. Right now I do a lot of writing for my master's, this is my work, I think that's also why I don't want to write more. <laughs> like I'm already writing the whole day, like some social media posts or mail templates and stuff like that. So then I just want to not write anymore at the end of the day. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you like this video and yeah, have a lovely weekend. Bye!